There are many decisions that must be made when adopting multiplex staining, such as choosing chromogenic or immunofluorescent multiplex assays, as well as the order and colors of chromogens and fluorophores. However, the decisions don't stop here as there are different detection systems available for multiplex assays that can increase sensitivity and enhance the signal-to-noise ratio when detecting markers of interest. We will cover a few of these examples in this video. Direct detection of markers involves the primary antibody being conjugated to an enzyme for chromogenic detection or directly to a fluorophore. This method can produce a sufficient signal if the proteins are highly expressed and can avoid cross-reactivity by species-specific secondary antibodies that are used for indirect detection. However, this type of assay may provide constraints due to the availability of pre-labeled primary antibodies and lower expressed proteins. Indirect detection systems may be more beneficial to overcome these assay issues. Indirect immunofluorescent detection can be performed with a secondary antibody conjugated with a fluorophore or with a biotin-conjugated secondary antibody followed by a streptavidin-linked antibody bound with a fluorophore. The avidin biotin complex, or ABC, detection system involves the addition of a biotin-conjugated secondary antibody to the primary antibody, followed by an enzyme-conjugated avidin biotin complex that catalyzes chromogen precipitation at the site of bound primary antibody. Sensitivity can be increased further using a tyramide signal amplification system. The assay sequence includes a first round of ABC incubation followed by tyramide. The enzyme of the ABC complex activates tyramide, enabling many molecules to cross-link with proteins near the binding site of the primary antibody. The tyramide can be conjugated with either biotin, which would require another round of ABC for enhanced chromogenic precipitation, or with a streptavidin and fluorophore-linked antibody. Alternatively, tyramide can be directly bound to a fluorophore, enhancing the fluorescent signal without the need for further assay steps. The disadvantages with biotinylated and tyramide detection systems can be high background staining due to binding with endogenous biotin within tissue samples. Another detection option is to use polymer-based detection systems that can enhance the signal intensity. In these detection systems, secondary antibodies and many enzymes are conjugated to a polymer-based backbone, which results in increasing the amount of chromogen precipitation at the site of the primary antibody. For immunofluorescence, primary antibodies are detected with a non-biotinylated amplifier antibody linked to a polymer backbone, to which multiple fluorescent-labeled detection antibodies will bind. It is possible to use a mixture of different detection systems. However, careful planning is required to ensure that species or amplification system cross-reactivity does not affect the validity of the multiplex assay results. Some multiplex technologies have overcome this issue by labeling primary antibodies with short oligonucleotide sequences that are detected with complementary secondary antibodies or fluorophore conjugated oligonucleotide probes. As the nucleotide code is redundant, this opens many possibilities for the number and combination of primary antibodies used in a multiplex assay. In summary, there are several detection systems available to visualize multiplex staining. Direct, indirect, ABC-based, polymer-based, and finally, oligonucleotide-labeled primary antibodies with complementary probes. Just remember that whichever detection system you decide to use in your multiplex assays, optimization is vital. Accelerate your journey and imagine the possibilities.